attention to the answers to some questions on how they keep spiritually focused. We would now like to speak with Brother Gabriel Burgess from the Wakefield Congregation. Uh, Brother Burgess, let's start out first. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. So as an 18 year old, how has your singleness given you an advantage in focusing on spiritual activities? Well, being only 18 years old, I definitely don't feel ready for marriage. So, therefore, I really have no intention on dating, and then that enables me to really just focus on my own goals, my spirituality, and my relationship with Jehovah. Very good assessment of your situation in life. Uh, what is your routine for personal study and family worship night? For my personal study, in the beginning of the week, I like to go over the material for the school and service meeting, and then I try to read at least 10 verses to a chapter a day of the Bible, and at least one article of the Watchtower Awake a day. And then on our family worship night, me and my parents like to read 10 verses of the Bible together as a family. And then with the new songbook, we like to look at the songs for that week. So then we're able to really listen to them and try and sing along with them. So when it comes up on the meeting, we're able to be more pre pre prepared to sing along with them. Very good routine. Now, what goals have you set for yourself and how are your spiritual activities enabling you to achieve them? Well, right now I'm reaching out to become a ministerial servant, and so I hope to achieve that by really being on service as much as I can and just trying to involve myself within the congregation as much as I can, doing whatever I can to help. Brother Burgess, thank you for those expressions. We would now like to introduce Sister Jordan Kittrick from the Stonington Congregation. Uh, Sister Kittrick, how many years have you been regular pioneering? I'm in my seventh year of regular pioneering. Very good. So, how has your singleness given you an advantage in focusing on spiritual activities? As being single has allowed me to further pursue kingdom interests through regular pioneering. Because I'm only supporting myself, I'm able to balance field service with secular work. It also allows me the privilege of serving on the regional building committee in Kingdom Hall Construction. Good schedule. So, what full share in the ministry and in participating at meetings have you experienced? Well, through regular pioneering, I make myself available to be out in service at different times of the day, different times of the week. This allows me to cultivate more Bible studies and more return visits. It also allows me to uh, invite others in my congregation out service to work together and to get to know each other better. I was encouraged by a circuit overseer at a pioneer meeting to comment at every meeting. So to do this, I make myself more prepared for the material, share points I appreciate, and um, really feel like I'm part of my congregation by commenting. Very good. So what spiritual goals have you set for yourself? Well, I set two goals for myself. My short-term goal is to conduct progressive Bible studies. In order to accomplish this, I'm making my presentations more flexible, I'm being more familiar with the scriptures, and I'm really trying to take a personal interest in those whom I meet. My long-term goal is to keep regular pioneering. Looking back at the last seven years of my life, they've been the best. I would encourage anyone who's thinking of regular pioneering to do it. You will never regret that decision. So with prayer and help from Jehovah, I hope to continue pioneering as long as I have the circumstances. Sister Kittrick, thank you. <laughs> Let's now speak with Brother Jaden Casciano from the Coventry Congregation. Brother Casciano, how old are you? I'm 19. And can you tell us how has your gift of singleness given you an advantage in focusing on spiritual activities? Singleness has been an advantage because I'm not tied down and I don't have to consult with someone perhaps before making a decision. And also when it comes to taking on privileges or responsibility in the congregation, I don't have to worry about another person, so it makes me available to do more. Okay, very true. So, how has your personal study and family worship night helped you to remain busy in focusing on spiritual activities? After coming back from temp work at Bethel, it really showed me the need to do the day's tech.
short-term and long-term goals.